Genetic background is an important consideration when designing studies involving syngenetic tumor models. Since these models depend upon the implanted tumor cells not being rejected by the immune system, it is critical that cell lines are genetically matched to the host. The most critical aspect is that the tumor and host are matched at major and minor histocompatibility loci. Even minor mismatches may lead to unintended tumor rejection, particularly through NK cell mediated mechanisms. To accomplish this, tumor cell lines have been derived from a variety of inbred strains, each with defined homogeneous genetic backgrounds. The most common strains for syngenetic models are listed here. Care should be taken that mice used are on a pure genetic background including genetically engineered models. There are often questions about substrain differences and how these affect tumor take rates and growth. Perhaps the most well-studied substrain difference is between the B6J and B6N substrains. These mice are genetically similar and are actually well-matched with respect to major and minor histocompatibility loci. Therefore, the transplantation of cells or tissues from any B6 substrain will be tolerated in any other B6 substrain. However, it is important to note that there are a number of genetic differences between these substrains. These affect functions such as immunology and metabolism, and these may affect the subsequent growth of tumors and the response to therapeutic agents. It is therefore important to validate substrains and specific cell lines in your studies. 